Tonight is December the 19th, 2017. Thought it was about time I made some more audio projects here. Uh, I'm going to make a short one tonight and post it. And I'm going to be open for suggestions. What I'm building here is a headphone amplifier. A stereo version of a headphone amplifier. I've got a very rough layout here. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do this quickly. Um, I'm going to just put the major components on there. These markings are on there with uh, a magic marker on a blank chassis. It wipes right off with uh, with a little, just a little bit of alcohol, so it'll come clean once I drill the hole. But here's here's the way that I do it. I'm going to put this little transformer there. Okay, let's see. Here's the choke, 15 Henry choke. It's going to go right here. So that's the power supply. Uh, these are the output transformers. They're going to go actually underneath it. There's the second one. And then I'm going to use a 1626. That's a little, pretty little transmitting tube from World War II era. I've got a bunch of those. And then I'm going to use 12 AU7s. to drive it. So that's basically what it's going to look like. And like I say, these, these two guys right here are going to be underneath it. In the front, I'm going to have a volume control right here. It's going to be have an on-off switch on it. It's going to be a dual one so that uh, both channels are, are uh, controlled at the same time. Now this one right here that I call sound stage, uh, I took that from a, a Fender amplifier years ago. What they do there, what I call a sound stage, and uh, is, is that's the variable feedback loop and uh, with no feedback then it has a lot of gain it sounds very loud and uh, and alive but the distortion you know sets in pretty quick so I'll be able to vary it'll almost sound like a volume control and then right here is going to be for the headphones and then the back I don't want to turn it around here and risk knocking something over there's going to be power and a fuse of course and that's basically it. That's what it's going to look like, I think. I've toyed with this for some time. And of course, I've got uh, tube shields right here for these little guys. Or I've got these kind right here. I thought about putting these guys out here. These are out of an old uh, general radio, but no, I don't think I should do that. That's a good way to get electrocuted <laughs> for the uh, these guys right here. Now these are 12 volt filaments, <clears throat> so uh, what I've been toying with, and, and I've measured it actually very carefully, is I put the 6.3 volt and the 5 volt filament. This one's got a like a uh, 5 volt filament winding light for a 5 wire there. I put them in series, and I put them both across here, both, and I get more than 12.6 volts. So, I mean, good shape there for my 12 volts, and then of course I'm going to run these off of 12 volts too. I'm not going to rectify the uh, the filament voltage. At least that's not the plan right now. And then, of course, the other components will be underneath it, including these. Okay, with all that said, here is the uh, LT Spice model of it. As it stands right now, I don't have a, uh, a model right here for a 1626, so I used a 2A3. So I'm not getting exactly what I uh, might get off of uh, a real 1626. But there's really nothing unusual about this. This is just a two stages driving a uh, a power amplifier into a transformer. Three and a half Henrys uh, is the uh, primary inductance. Eight and a half millihenrys is the secondary inductance. I'm still having a lot of fun with this uh, with this little device right here, measuring the inductance of uh, of transformers and coils and whatever. I was going to use this little choke right here, but it actually ended up being only uh, one Henry, 1.1 Henry. That's why I chose that other little little one. I've rearranged my shop ever so slightly. Uh, Move some more equipment in here, of course. Got to have more equipment. And um, this is the amplifier I listen to all the time. Runs a pair of six uh, B4s in it. I love the, 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 those six B4s. I just think they're beautiful. 
and it's basically a Williamson amplifier. Um, drive it with this little Mac tuner up here, and I put my speakers way up in the corners to get them out of the way so I could uh, bring more equipment out here. Of course, we need more equipment. Well, anyway, that's it in a nutshell. I'm going to go ahead and post this. I'll also post at least one more when I get it done and start measuring it. Um, if you have any suggestions, any thoughts on it, uh, please let me know because I'm going to go to town on this thing and it's going to be built in just a few days. Okay, and after that, what I'm going to do is I have a really nice transformer right here. This thing right here, it just measures marvelous. It has a 40 Henry uh, primary. Uh, most of them have a 20 Henry primary. This one I am just really pleased with. It's actually very heavy. It's made by Chicago Standard. I've got the original data sheet on it, so uh, even though I've painted it, it was just too ugly not to paint. That made it really pretty. And uh, I'll be building something with that one too, so I'm going to get back into the, into the audio world. Now that I've got this right here to measure all of my inductances, and I'm just really happy with that. I, I've already made two videos on it, and, and uh, I don't want to make another one and, and really get too boring. But anyway, back to the headphone amplifier. The, the, the point of it is, is I'm hoping I can get this thing done in time for my grandson uh, as a Christmas present. I bought him these headphones today. He doesn't know it yet. I I've always liked Sennheiser. These are the uh, HD25s. I haven't even opened them yet. I probably will. <laughs> Once I get this thing built, you know I'm going to have to listen to it. But anyway, uh, your thoughts, suggestions are always welcome. So uh, there you go. I'll post this thing and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see how it turns out.